Hello everybody, today I will uh, show you how to permanently fix the problem on the uh, diesel common rail, injection, uh, common rail injection systems uh, from Bosch. Uh, this is from Bosch CP1 pump and uh, the main construction problem is that uh, uh, this valve which regulates pressure by the uh, by the control at leaking through this valve into the into the return pipe uh, that valve gets blocked with the very small uh, mess from the uh, from the CP uh, uh, one pump or common rail pump uh, this car has uh, 100,000 uh, kilometers on odometer and when I focus on this part on this end moment on this part, this metal part, we will fo focus. Moment, I will, I will try to not to shaking with. Oh, it's very difficult to see it by uh, eye. Maybe with the with the camera on the smartphone, but but I must focus. Maybe like this. Wait just a moment for focus. Mm, it is impossible to, to focus, but it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe I will try to use the lens and try to show it through the through this lens. Moment. So maybe you can see just a moment please maybe you can see that uh, it is a it is a filter and this filter when I turn it to light side and clean the lens I'm sorry uh, maybe you will see the mess from the pump. I'll try to try to focus it through the lens. Oh, now it, it should be good, but not perfect. But maybe you will see it. It's hard to. Yeah, yes. This is the mess. Wow, it is clearly visible, clearly visible now. I'll try to not to shade with my finger. Yes, it is. It is perfectly visible that the grid or the filter is partly clogged uh, and messed with the. Uh, with the metal parts, metal particles from the uh, from the uh, CR pump. So uh, I think that this is a construction fault because uh, some wear of the pump is normal; it is standard. And when you drive on the dry diesel or or diesel without uh, sulfur, uh, it's just increasing. So uh, back to the basic principle. This one, uh, or I will try. To, uh, I will try to start with the with the pressure built up. Pressure is built up with the piston pump common rail pump and uh, this pressure is not uh, uh, controlled uh, with any device uh, and it 
but only with the with this this is the connector from the other side two pins are here and in this part is strong coil and uh, the current that uh, ECU uh, pushes from from this coil moves uh, the I think needle inside very thin needle inside and uh, uh, over pressure and uh, uh, volume which is not used in injectors and which creates uh, over pressure this valve uh, is uh, uh, creates controlled leaking of the of the uh, of this uh, fuel and uh, it is the feedback regulation because on the uh, rail on the uh, common rail uh, rail uh, you uh, or we have installed uh, uh, installed uh, some uh, sensor pressure sensor which controls uh, the pressure via this valve and the pro main problem is that uh, this mass or this uh, this uh, particles i will try to focus without without uh, well this is perfectly visible uh, you can see the holes and uh, maybe uh, more than half of these holes uh, on the filter are clogged with the with these particles metal particles and and other mass so uh, the valve uh, want to uh, want to uh, create the leak uh, or uh, or uh, want to uh, lower the pressure but uh, also that the uh, needle is completely pushed out uh, uh, the pressure is blocked with these particles uh, so uh, the typical uh, fault code is the rail over pressure and uh, engine uh, in this case with the when the uh, when the uh, uh, control system uh, shows that uh, that there is a big overpressure uh, then uh, simply stop the engine maybe uh, some engines are stopped in in idle uh, some engines are stopped uh, during the drive doesn't matter on it uh, maybe with the restart it helps for a few kil for a few kilometers but uh, don't uh, drive good and uh, it gets worse and worse and worse very quickly so uh, what to do uh, we can put these metal parts these parts out with the compressed air partially but uh, there is one problem when you uh, uh, take it out with the compressed air the common rail pump uh, creates uh, these particles uh, long uh, still and uh, uh, when this uh, when assembly it back it will after uh, a few kilometers or few thousand kilometers uh, uh, the problem will come back the same thing uh, happens uh, when you uh, uh, change this valve this is called drv valve uh, so when you change the, the whole DRV valve, uh, this is the same. Uh, common rail pump uh, still creates very very small particles, and these particles uh, takes uh, uh, this fault. So uh, very simple solution. It's uh, it's a little bit. Uh, uh, incorrect method 
uh, how to solve this problem, but uh, uh, as is uh, tried and as I tried and uh, and uh, uh, as I made it on f on a few cars uh, in the past, uh, it is functional uh, and doesn't uh, uh, doesn't uh, uh, affects uh, to the lifetime of the valve. So very simple method is just uh, uh, remove this thing, this whole filter. Remove this whole filter from the from the valve. So I always uh, use these these uh, I don't know how to say the clamps or I don't know it doesn't matter. Uh, best is to remove it with this, but when you remove it, the this O-ring will not. Uh, holds uh, hold in its place so you must you must remove it in this this in this point it's only a filter there is nothing under this there is the air or the diesel now there is air so now I will take it out simply well so we can focus what happened please focus well don't want to focus Well, you can see the inside, that inside is nothing. Only some particles from the, from the filter. And now I will try to clean it a little bit with the compressed air. Precisely. Uh, clean this, this, uh, these uh, ugly things, and uh, also I must refit uh, or reinstall these uh, O-rings. Very interesting on this car. It was Peugeot Boxer. Uh, very interesting was that this O-ring wasn't present. Uh, was not present on the pump and uh, when I uh, only a little bit uh, uh, unscrew this uh, this screw the diesel starts to leaking from here but uh, I have a note right in here that the outer o-ring have uh, these dimensions 17 times 1.25 to 1.5 millimeters uh, don't know exact uh, exact uh, diameter uh, but uh, when you use uh, anything between these dimensions it will be functional so uh, the smaller one have the dimensions which is written under this thing. I'm sorry, I will I will unpack it, try to unpack it. Just a moment please. I, I'm sorry for this time wasting or wastage. Sorry for my English didn't talk well these are I'm sorry I will try to focus on the mode so you can see the dimension of the small o-ring which is here 
it is 3.4 times 1.9 millimeter. This, this is the precise dimension uh, read on internet from some forums and I don't know. So now I will remove this green o-ring, old green o-ring and replace it uh, with this uh, uh, Vitton made. I don't know how to say Vitton but it is uh, FPM. Is uh, It is marked FPM. Floor part material or I don't know what uh, what this shortcut means but uh, it is important because uh, uh, when you uh, drive your car or biodiesel or uh, another mixture with the biodiesel or uh, rapeseed oil methyl ester uh, the rubber the ordinary rubber will uh, will fail in this fuel so now I will remove the old one and uh, clean it completely. Try to clean the, this uh, hole. This is not nice, but I just don't know how to remove it without breaking or, with, or without, without these things. I'm sorry for the camera because my phone is not not just perfect and I will try to find the better o-ring to place here because I used uh, a little bit thicker uh, I maybe I think that is 1.8 uh, 1.8 millimeter and this is too much So, uh, I hope this will help you. If you like my video, please subscribe. If you don't like this mod modification, uh, please don't <laughs> push the dislike button. Uh, and it is my car and I, I can do it, I think. So, now I will go to my garage and uh, and uh, try to clean it with the fresh diesel and pure diesel and and remove the, the remains of the the rest of the metal particles so try to subscribe uh, remember to subscribe my channel see you next time I hope it will will be will be helpful